welcome to this video. How to put a bow in a top knot and a ponytail? Well, very easy and very simple. We are using here the Showtech bows, the pearl and the sparkle, they are very small bows. We are using the Showtech carbon needle comb, it's a very strong but fine comb and perfect to make a ponytail. So um, we start by making um, a straight line from the eye corner. Sometimes it's not easy when the dog is looking around and he is not lying still or sitting still, but you have to have some patience, of course. So you have to make a straight line from the eye corner um, on the right side and of course on the left side. Um, do it very easy, very calm. And everything what's in between of those two straight lines is the ponytail. It's um, also very important. I do it sometimes, a couple of times, before I have every hair in, my, in the ponytail. And the dog is looking around and is wondering what happened. Then you make a straight line in the middle of the skull. You make a straight line. It's very important that you don't take hair of uh, that's on the ears uh, in the ponytail because then it's too fast it's too uh, it's not easy it's not comfortable for the dog so it's very important that you only take hair from the skull in the ponytail so you are making kind of a, a triangle straight lines um, it's a round triangle um, but it's the easiest way uh, if you don't have a lot of time in a grooming shop it's the easiest way to make a good nice looking ponytail it's very important that the hair is clean washed and conditioned and well brushed out otherwise it would look messy and, and not smooth and you won't have the same result. After all the hair is in the ponytail I take a rubber band and because I'm right-handed I start on the right side and I take in one straight line all the hairs in a ponytail in the rubber band. Don't tighten up too much the rubber band because the eye corners will go up and that's not nice. Um, after the rubber band is in the ponytail, I search for the middle hair of the ponytail and I tighten up the rubber band a little bit more. So it's very natural, natural looking way, but it's very comfortable for the dog. Then you have the bow. Here I have a very small bow because it's a very small dog. And I hold the bow straight, like it has to look in the end straight on the ponytail. So I use my two fingers, I put my two fingers in the rubber band and I hold the, I hold the bow straight on the ponytail. I take, I do it once and I put the bow under the rubber band that's already in the hair. So I have a rubber band to make the ponytail and I have the rubber band from the bow. This bow has two rubber bands. If one is um, collapsing, you still have another one. So I hold the bow straight. I push it on my finger like it has to look in the end. I take one rubber band. This is sometimes not easy if the dog is not lying still you have to do it sometimes two or three times and then I hold again with my thumb the bow against the ponytail I take the rubber band from behind and I take the hair and the bow and this is really important that you take the whole ponytail and the bow I take the rubber band and I hold it under the bow this is the reason why the bow is on the ponytail straight. If you don't take the bow in the ponytail at the end, the, the bow will look very messy, it will not standing straight. This is a very easy and simple way 
it was uh, very nice to show you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.